coenzyme Q10. Known as COQ10 is a naturally occurring enzyme found in every cell in the body. It plays a crucial role in the production of energy, and research has shown that diabetics tend to have lower levels of coenzyme Q10. Cardiologist Dr. Steven Sinatra led the wave of using COQ10 as a treatment for heart disease patients and diabetics, and the scientific data has snowballed in the last few years. Now you may be wondering, what the heck is COQ10 and how does it work? Is it something you should be exploring and are there any side effects? In this video, we'll dive into the science of COQ10 and explore its potential benefits for diabetes and heart health. We'll discuss its safety profile and we'll discuss how to get more of it into your body through natural methods. Plus, we'll reveal the intriguing latest discoveries published in 2022 by one of the world's most distinguished scientific journals. But before we get into it, can you do us a favor and like this video? Ring the bell for future notifications and make sure you subscribe to Diabetics Talk for more practical diabetes information. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get not one, not two, but yes, three gifts. Also, don't forget to check out exclusive Diabetics Talk merchandise from our store and sign up as a member to get full access to the Food, Health, and You Complete Implementation System documentary and more. Now, let's jump into it. Studies have found that as we age, our body's natural production of COQ10 decreases. Not only is COQ10 deficiency linked to diabetes and heart disease, but it also is related to a number of other age-related conditions, including fatigue, cognitive decline, cancer, and age-related skin conditions. That's right, COQ10 can also help to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. Age-related skin conditions can manifest in various ways, such as dryness, discolorations like liver spots, wrinkles, sagging due to loss of elasticity, and increased sensitivity due to thinning protective layers. One big factor that protects skin from wrinkles is coenzyme Q10. You may have seen COQ10 on the label of your skincare products. COQ10 assists in maintaining healthy levels of collagen production while also protecting against cell damage. It improves skin elasticity, reduces wrinkles, and can even improve the appearance of age spots, helping to age gracefully on the inside and outside. And just like wrinkles, diabetes is a condition that tends to appear with age and due to lifestyle factors. According to a 2022 meta-analysis published in the Lancet Journal, COQ10 supplementation can do wonders for diabetics. The Studies synthesized the results involving 2,424 participants from 40 randomized controlled trials, the gold standard of scientific research. This meta-analysis found that taking COQ10 significantly reduced fasting glucose, fasting insulin, HbA1c, and HOMA-IR levels, all important markers for diabetics. HOMAIR, or Homeostatic Model Assessment of Insulin Resistance, is an index to measure insulin resistance in the body, and it's a very important indicator. Reducing HOMAIR levels indicates that the body is becoming more sensitive to insulin and, as a result, it is better able to regulate blood sugar levels. Essentially, insulin helps the body use sugar from food as energy. When your body is sensitive to insulin, it can use glucose more easily, thus blood glucose levels stay in a healthy range. On the other hand, when you become insulin resistant, it's harder for your body to use glucose effectively. And as a result, your blood sugar levels can rise too high, damaging a number of organs, especially those related to digestion and metabolism. The pancreas is a major organ affected by high blood sugar. High levels lead to inflammation, making it difficult for the pancreas to produce and release insulin. This can lead to severe diabetes if left untreated. 
The heart is also adversely affected because high blood sugar harms vessels and nerves that control the heart. Over time, this strain can lead to an increased risk of heart disease and heart attack. Additionally, the kidneys are at risk as they are constantly overworked. In severe cases, this may result in kidney failure, requiring dialysis or a transplant. High blood sugar also damages delicate vessels behind the eyes, leading to blurred vision or even blindness. The nerves in the arms and legs are also susceptible, resulting in pain and in some cases, amputation. This is why proper insulin function is so important. And fortunately, these 40 studies identified a number of specific mechanisms through which COQ10 improves insulin function, such as increasing the muscular content of an enzyme called triosine kinase, which helps proteins in the body to do their job more efficiently. Another example is that COQ10 has been shown to improve serum lipid profiles, which is associated with reduced diabetes symptoms and a lower risk of heart disease. The thing to remember is that COQ10 is a naturally occurring enzyme that our bodies produce to keep various processes functioning smoothly. The problem is that the body produces less and less COQ10 due to aging and lifestyle factors, such as toxic food, insufficient exercise, pollution, and stress. The Lancet meta-analysis found that there's a sweet spot when it comes to COQ10. The best efficacy was found in the range of 100 to 200 milligrams per day. And even more encouraging, the study found that longer intervention further improved efficacy in glycemic control. Research has demonstrated that the consumption of COQ10 can have a substantial impact on decreasing the risk of congestive heart failure, which is a common complication for those living with diabetes. Studies suggest that it may reduce hypertension or high blood pressure, alleviating stress on the heart and arteries, thus reducing the risk of a heart attack. Beyond the 40 studies in the Lancet analysis, an interesting discovery came from experiments on diabetic rats. When treated with COQ10, the diabetic rats showed increased levels of glutathione, an important antioxidant. With diabetes, high glucose causes inflammation and cell damage and a cascade of potential diseases. Research suggests that glutathione has a significant protective effect against this damage. Studies have found that diabetics tend to have lower levels of glutathione compared to non-diabetics, and again, COQ10 is a precursor to glutathione. So as you can see, COQ10 is important for metabolic health and reducing the risk of various diabetes-related complications. It has been found to improve insulin function, regulate blood sugar levels, reduce heart attack and stroke risk, and provide antioxidative protection from free radicals. Other studies have found that it may also play a role in protecting the lungs, preventing and improving outcomes related to cancer, slowing the development of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, and improving exercise performance. Now, before we get into food sources of COQ10, how about those free gifts? Discover an entire world of diabetes-fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus, you'll discover the real reason why type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate and find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses by watching our free Diabetes Fighting documentary. Plus, get a free recipe book, Amazing Alternatives to Rice, Pasta, and Bread, which contains over 50 delicious and easy to prepare recipes that the whole family will love. These gifts are free and waiting for you to grab them in the description box below. Now back to our video. So how can you get more COQ10? COQ10 is found in small amounts of a variety of foods. These include fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel and sardines, organ meats like the liver and kidney, as well as in pork, chicken and beef. Just be sure to go for grass-fed, organic or pasture-raised options. 
Some nuts and seeds such as peanuts, pistachios, and sesame seeds also contain COQ10, as well as fruits and vegetables like spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, avocado, oranges, and berries. Lentils are also a good source. And by the way, all of these are excellent foods for diabetics for a number of other reasons. They are all full of important vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that stabilize blood sugar and keep your body healthy. And you'll find most of them featured in our other videos. Now, it's important to note that while food sources of COQ10 can provide some benefits, the amounts found in food are fairly low. In order to get the recommended dosage of COQ10, you would need to eat large amounts of these foods. Another important thing to note is that the amount of COQ10 can vary depending on how the food is prepared and cooked. For example, frying can decrease the amount of COQ10 in food. A Danish study found that the effect of frying was 14 to 32 percent destruction of coenzyme Q10. Experts recommended eating COQ10 rich foods raw or lightly cooked to preserve the enzyme. Other studies have found parallel negative effects of frying because when food is fried, harmful chemical compounds called AGEs or advanced glycation end products are created. While the body can eliminate low levels of AGEs, consuming too many leads to significant oxidation and inflammation. So it's important to make informed choices about how your food is prepared. Now, the bioavailability of COQ10 from food sources is not as high as the bioavailability from some supplements, meaning the body cannot absorb as much COQ10 from food. Although eating a diet of whole foods and eliminating processed foods and refined carbohydrates is always the recommended first step. Eating a balanced diet that includes plenty of organic fruits, vegetables, nuts, grass-fed meat, and fatty fish can provide some COQ10, but those who want to ensure that they are getting enough may want to consider taking a supplement. As always, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any supplement regimen. So what about the side effects? Before you run into the supplement aisle, it's important to note that COQ10 supplements may have some potential side effects. Some people may experience mild upset stomach, nausea, or headaches. These side effects are usually mild and can be easily managed by taking the supplement with food or reducing the dosage. Another possible side effect of COQ10 is skin rash. Some allergic people may develop a rash or other skin reactions after taking COQ10 supplements. If you experience a skin reaction after taking COQ10, stop taking it and consult with a healthcare professional. On the other hand, COQ10 can improve skin health and reduce headaches, but for other people it causes these issues depending on your physical constitution. COQ10 may also interact with certain medications, including blood thinners and satins. So if you're taking medication, speak with your healthcare professional to ensure that there are no potential interactions. And finally, if you're pregnant, talk to your doctor before taking any supplement. There isn't enough research on the safety of COQ10 during pregnancy and breastfeeding, so it's best to err on the side of caution. In conclusion, COQ10 is vital. Our bodies produce it naturally, and it plays a role in controlling blood sugar and protecting against diabetes complications, heart disease, cancer, cognitive decline, as well as skin health. Food sources of COQ10 provide benefits, but the amount found in food is lower than the amount found in supplements, and because of this, diabetics may want to consider taking a supplement. But before doing so, speak with your healthcare professional to ensure it's safe for you and that there are no potential interactions with any medications you are taking. We hope this video has shed some light on the importance of COQ10 and how it can help with diabetes. We encourage everyone to take a proactive role in their health, so if there's anything else we can help with, please leave us a comment below. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button for more diabetes tips and information.
And don't forget, you can claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. We want to keep making informative, research-based videos for you. So if you gained value from this video and would like more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of the video. Also, don't forget to check out exclusive Diabetics Talk merchandise from our store and sign up as a member to get full access to the Food, Health, and You Complete Implementation System documentary and more. We're Diabetics Talk, and it's our mission to bring you the best tips and tricks to help you fight obesity and diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a diabetes fighting day.